Hey everyone, Silence Yell here. Welcome to another video with me. Uh, this time around, we're gonna do a box opening of the Crane King Macross Delta figures. Um, as you have seen in my previous videos, I already do have Freya and Mikumo from the Ichiban Kuji figures. Uh, so we're gonna compare them and the quality of them. Um, since the Ichiban Kuji um, series does not have Reina, uh, Kaname and Makina uh, so I had to get the other three girls uh, from a different series so if you're wondering why I didn't buy all the Crane King figures mainly because uh, well the quality explains itself so we're gonna take a look at the quality for both figurines uh, from the Ichiban Kuji and Crane King series just to compare and take a look and see how they are so yeah let's get down to opening them um, as you can see I bought all three um, of the missing girls so uh, I got them cheap uh, because recently in Singapore we had the Anime Festival Asia event um, and they were being uh, sold at a very uh, well discounted offer price um, well I uh, only um, Kaname and Reina that was uh, because apparently the store didn't have Makina so I had to get her from a different uh, retailer <laughs> so yeah um, anyways we're gonna open them up now uh, let me just grab a pen knife or something okay I'm gonna go with scissors just have to cut open the scotch tape That's sealing the box uh, there we go so I'm gonna start with Reina first Alright, so if you're wondering how to open up boxes without damaging them, here's a nifty trick. Um, basically, all you have to do is take a simple long ruler, alright, long ruler, and slide it in to the opening uh, area and pull open. Yeah, there we go. So in this case, you can see that the box is not damaged or crinkled in this portion, especially if you're a collector. Yeah, you would definitely want to keep the box in a mint condition. So we're gonna open up the box and take a look inside. So as you can see it's bubble wrap inside, which is pretty good uh, considering that the Crane King figurines are a UFO catcher series and they are rather cheap. Um, in Singapore, this goes for about around thirty dollars. So, yeah, I mean, if you go to the arcades and you try and win one for yourself, you probably might end up spending more than that. You may, unless you're a professional crane catcher <laughs> with skills. So, sadly, I am not one of them. Yeah, so as you can see, it's bubble wrapped nicely uh, with the stand there. Alright, so the only difference between the Ichiban Kuji one and the SQ. Uh, uh, Crane King figures is that the stand is different so as you can see uh, each of the girls will have their own stand in their color so Reina has the green and it has that Valkyrie symbol here uh, unlike the Ichiban Kuji figurines the stands are transparent black with no signs except for yeah they do have the signs so as you can see, I'm not sure whether you can see there's actually the Valkyrie symbol imprinted at the bottom or at the top you can see um, yeah, so that's one of the main differences. Yeah, it's the stand. Alright, so we're gonna pull out Rena itself. And here we go. This is Rena. Okay, let me focus so you can take a look at the quality. You can see very nicely done with the tummy as well. Very nice curves. Quite detailed though, um, except for maybe this portion here, um, where her waist uh, accessory was kind of maybe not shaven properly. Uh, yeah, so um, hmm. I want. I really wonder if the ribbons will actually drop off if forced off you know that kind of thing probably it might so hmm, 
it, it seems like the quality is quite good uh, even though it's like a $30 figuring I, I kind of worry about Kaname though because um, her face on the box doesn't seem quite accurate Reina on the other hand seems okay at a certain angle but at certain angles it does look a bit off as well so yeah Alright, so here we have Rina. I'm gonna slot her in. Uh, how should I put her in? Okay, so this is where her shoe is. Uh, it's gonna be like that. Like this, and there you go. So, Rina. Very nice. Alright, slotting her in. As you can see, the figuring sizes are a bit different as well. Um, might be a bit different, I guess. Uh, Reina des definitely is one of the shorter members in the group, so I guess the height-wise is kind of accurate still. So comparing the quality of both Ichiban and uh, the Crane King figurines, um, it does look somewhat similar, except there is more details, I guess, uh, considering that this portion has symbols. Yeah. And in terms of the colouring tone for skin, the Crane King one seems a bit paler, as you can compare. Yeah, but otherwise, the clothing, texturing and all that, it kind of seems the same. Uh, as, as of course, you can see that Mikumo, uh, the hair has been done differently for the Ichiban Koji version. Um, yeah. So, especially for Mikumo only, uh, comparing it with Freya, as you can see her rune is shiny, I'm not sure whether you can take a look at that, let me try and focus in, I guess not, so, there we go, so, yeah, it, on my view, the rune actually glows, yeah, I think you can see it now, yeah, it actually glows, it's kind of glossy, so that's kind of nice, a uh, good detailed touch to the figuring itself. So as you can see, they have symbols in there as well. So sadly for the Crane King version, there is none. Yeah, so stockings with the hearts, very nice detail as well. Uh, as you can see, the modeling for the Ichiban Koji one does have limits as well because there is like some lines here and there if you didn't smoothen out the clay properly. But either way, it's still fantastic. Mm. Um, definitely the Ichiban Kuji one would be more expensive because you have to uh, pick by luck uh, to obtain the figuring itself so I was quite lucky on the other hand I managed to get uh, Freya thanks to my friends um, whom actually helped uh, pull out the lucky ticket for me uh, Mikumo on the other hand I was basically hard earned by myself I bought the entire Kuji set and I managed to get a full set for the version B of the Delta series Kuji. So yeah, <laughs> so Mikumo is the only one that really I kind of struggled <laughs> to obtain myself. Alright, so let's go open up here Kaname. Then, oh no, we should actually do Makina first, right? Since Reina was the first one to come out. Yeah, so I'm gonna do Makina. Um, no, I mean open up Makina's box. <clears throat> that didn't sound right. Okay, I'm so sorry, fans. <laughs> Alright, so... Makina pink box with matching her colour. Alright, sadly I don't have my pen knife here. I left it at work. So opening the box will be a bit tougher. Okay, so definitely gonna keep my box intact. So here we go again. Gonna pop this open. This open, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm sure most of you guys who are fans of the Mechas Delta series would know that there is one figuring from the King, Crane King series that is not here on the box, which is the Valkyrie version of Mirage. So, Mirage actually has been released in Japan as of this time when I'm recording this video. Um, and sadly to say, we have not gotten the figuring brought into Singapore yet, mainly due to the holidays coming and uh, some copyright issues with the Macross Delta series with the retailers. So only certain stores are able to have these items being on sale. 
So I'm praying to be able to obtain one of the uh, the Mirage figurines at least because um, I definitely want to have her as my full set of girls here. So she is a very rare um, SQ Crane King figurine to obtain from the Macross Delta series because apparently she comes with the stage as well so if you guys aren't sure what I'm talking about I probably might leave a link below for you guys to take a look uh, it's gonna link to the Japanese website so if you guys can't read it's okay just take a look at the pictures oh wait oh wait the apparently she appears on um, this box <laughs> so yeah okay so I don't really have to link it to you but yeah she's here uh, on uh, Kaname's box. <laughs> uh, yeah, so as you can see, it's supposed to release in uh, uh, November. Yeah, so actually she was released on the 14th of November uh, in Japan. Apparently, yeah, there are some delays due to right issues here in Singapore. So if she's not here yet, yet. So hopefully we'll get her by end of December or even in January. Uh, so yeah. Alright, so let's take a look at Makina itself. Alright, so Makina has some protective plastic for her ribbon, that's pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna pull out her platform. And, oh, okay, so she has no plastic things to pull her up. I'm gonna toss the plastic wraps around my room, it's gonna be messy again. Okay, so as you can see, there's two holes here, so it's supposed to slot Makina in. And there we go, so pretty easy for Makina. Uh, let me focus so you, can, you guys can see. Very nice details, and once again, Cranking doesn't have any details here into the side accessories. Uh, or rather the jet boosters, I think so. That's probably what they wear around the waist before their clothes form out. Uh, if you guys have watched the anime, you will know, probably know what I'm talking about. So, so as you can see, um, Re Makina and Rina are supposed to form together, I guess, and probably do this, the Iwakure sign together. But yeah, the platform kinds of blocks the way. <laughs> so, I'm not sure how this design works. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so moving on to Kaname, finally. I'm um, just going to open up her box, one last tape to get through. There we go. Slide the ruler in. Yeah. Slide the ruler in and pop it open. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to her out. So for Kaname, uh, same thing as Makina, she doesn't have extra stem for her leg, unlike Rena. Alright, so Kaname as well being protected nicely uh, due to her beautiful ribbon on her dress. Very, very nice quality here for $30 figuring. Alright, so I'm gonna slot her in. So her base as well, two slots. Okay, so as you can see, Kanami looks fantastic at a certain angle. Um, her face quality doesn't seem to be an issue here on the figuring itself. Um, yeah, so looking at the quality again of Kami, fantastic. You know, looking at the legs, very nice, very sexy. The shoes, fantastic as well. You know, even the heels are done very nicely. So yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, so these three are from the Crane King figuring series. Well, the ones, the Freya and Mikumo are from Ichiban Kuji itself. So, you guys let me know what do you think about the quality of the figurines itself. Do you own them? Um, do let me know in the comment section down below. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!